challenges did you face as you started up? Yeah, it is. It actually took time for my business to grow, but because of hard work that I had to put in. Um, you see, this the nature of business of ours is somehow a bit complicated because you have to wait for somebody, an investor, to maybe buy a plot and build, and it should take your integrity for you to go there and ask him, please, uh, I I think I can manage your house. He tells you, no, how? At your age, how can you manage my house? You can go with my money. You're telling him, no, this one, we have to talk, we go to the, maybe, so he has now to go and to some other friends and tell and ask some other people. Uh, he's such a, such a person doing this business, he has actually approached me, how is he working? Somebody say, ah, if it is that one, we pay here. You are at a kumanaji amzure. So it is about integrity. Yeah, and you see, this business is what matters is honest. You may be having a hundred thousand in your account, and you manage somebody's building that does an income of three hundred thousand, and what you are taking there is just twenty thousand. So you have to be honest at the immediately at the end of the month. You have to remit the money to the landlord's account and you, you remain with your commission. Yeah, so I can say it needs a lot of honesty. Mm, I think it is I think it's all about the truth. Yeah, in business you have to be patient and wait for it to grow. If somebody deposits money in your account, say maybe buy for me this plot. Because that is what we do. We we, 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 we we sell properties on behalf of other people. We buy properties on behalf of other people. So the key thing is honest with such huge amount of money. What are your current business challenges? Competition is really stiff. Yeah, you. And the competition is just about the commission. I can say I manage this building and I'm getting eight percent per every money that comes in. Somebody else comes in and say no. I think I can. I can take six percent. So, no, no, you to me. He has actually come down for him or her to acquire the, that premise you are managing. Is there anything the government can do to help SMEs? I don't see any assistance from that, that, that tangible assistance from maybe the government, no. Maybe the only tangible assistance that you can get is from institutions like banks, like microfinance, yeah, I think because this money that is saying maybe we say a vagina, we say a women trust fund, sometimes you know, in a letter challenges me, yeah, so I think the only advice that I can tell people maybe build your account and maybe run to a bank, yeah, because banks nowadays, they are not the way it used to be. You may allow be a share, I'm sorry. What are your future plans? Actually, that's my dream, that in the next uh, coming years, I will be the one building uh, and selling. No upload, una jenga, una uza. Una nunua buildings like now una jenga flats alafu una uza. Yeah, that is my dream. What advice would you give to aspiring and current SMEs? 
Yeah, they should not just say hakuna kazi. Yeah. Wewe mwenyewe jitengenezee kazi yako na ufanye hiyo. So vijana wenye wako huko mtaani wana wanacheza cheza place. Uh, we still have a long way to go. So my advice is come out from where you are hiding. Stop being hiding. Create a business. Make yourself busy. Do something.